so uh, what according to you would you like to say about asynchronous input as discussed uh, previously also yeah i discussed previously just like the keystrokes okay keystrokes means we are not considering we are not concerned with the clock so these are the examples okay. the keystrokes or sensor inputs and data received from a network where transmitter has its own clock so but uh, i understand that uh, not all inputs are synchronized here with the clock yeah so and uh, that means they all uh, behave in an individual fashion and then inputs must also be synchronized with the system clock uh, b before being applied to a synchronous system so uh, the last point says that uh, basically uh, the all the inputs like uh, the input shown in this example will be asynchronous input so in, uh, when going to a synchronous system that is when we are feeding this input to a synchronous system it needs to be somehow synchronized with that uh, synchronous system then only we will get uh, the correct output but now uh, the way to do it how what is the way of doing it no, one synchronizer per input and carefully locate the synchronization points in the system then still there is a problem that is the synchronizer output may become meta stable when setup and hold time are not met uh so this is actually the um, uh, main important uh, the desired way of implementation of this and uh, there is uh, but there may be a small chance of uh, meta stability maybe you know yeah but what is a recommended uh, synchronizer design is seen here we again apply the asynchronous input over here to the synchronizer as seen here and we get a meta state here Uh, between flip flop one and flip flop two, and of, uh, as seen here, the synchronized uh, it goes from this uh, synchronizer. It goes the synchronized input goes to the system, and the same.